I'm Ella from FamilyForHealth.com, and my family travels a lot, but me and my brother want healthy treats. So today I'm going to teach you how to make healthy homemade popsicles. It's super easy. You don't need much. You can even do it in a hotel room. So all you need is a banana. And when my family goes shopping for fruits, we always look for fruits that start with the number nine. If it starts with the number nine, it's organic. And you'll need some cups. Paper cups will probably be best. And you're going to need some popsicle sticks, but since we're in a hotel room, we don't have any, so we're using the top of spoons. And you're going to need some juice. So, these are our favorite juices to get. They're Suja Elements, and if you want to read more about them, click on the link below. This one is going to be for the kids. It's Blue Dream. It has apple, pear, blueberry, coconut, honey, and vanilla. And this one is going to be for the parents. It's King of Greens and it has apple, cucumber, celery, kale, collards, spinach, lemon, ginger, chlorella, spirulina. So, the first thing you want to do is open your banana. Now, this is how my family opens a banana. You squeeze the end of the banana like that and it peels open. This is actually how monkeys do it. So, you are you need to cut slices of the banana. I'm only making four, so I need four slices. And if you're going to be using the top of spoons like this, you're going to want them kind of um, thick. So, after you got that done, you want to get your spoon or popsicle stick, whatever you're using, and stick the banana on the end of it or wherever. Then you grab the cup and you put it, you put the spoon upside down like that, that way the bottom is facing the top. That, like that, that way the spoon still has the banana on it. And then you're gonna pour in your juice. Now that I'm back, I got some help opening the juice bottles. So once you have the banana on whatever you're using in the cup, you're gonna pour the juice in, and it matters how much juice you have, so kind of look at how much juice you have. That way you know how much you need to pour. But if you need the juice to cover the banana. So this one is ready to go in the freezer. Now, I'm going to do the rest of them. So, you do the same thing. Stick the banana on whatever you're using. Stick it in the cup. Pour the juice in. Make sure the juice covers the banana. And now this one's ready too. And now... Same thing, get the banana on the spoon, put it in the cup, and pour in the juice. Now it matters how much juice you have. And the last one, put the banana on the spoon, put it in the cup, and pour in the juice. Now, if you still have leftover juice, you can see which one has less. Like, if any of them don't have the banana covered, you're going to want to add in more juice. Now, these are ready to go in the freezer. So, you let them freeze for about three to four hours. And then you are going to take off the cup. And your spoon is going to be like your popsicle stick or whatever you're using. And then you're going to have your popsicle. I put the popsicles in the freezer to enjoy later. But in the meantime, go visit our website at familyforhealth.com for more helpful information for healthy families. Bye. Thanks for watching.
My popsicles are done. They were freezed in the freezer for about four hours. So this is what it looks like. Now my parents cut it already. You want to cut it with a knife a little bit and then you just tear down till you get to the bottom. And so this is what it should look like once you've got it teared. So this is all one piece now. You grab whatever you're using like that and the popsicle should be able to pop out. There you've got your own homemade popsicles. I made these in a hotel. You can too. Bye.